Hi, my name is Charlene, and today I'm going to show you how you can edit your banner. The banner is the first image your visitors see when they go into your web page. We have two different kinds of templates, one with a full width banner, as you can see here, and one that does not have a full width banner, as you can see here. You can choose whether you want a banner or not. Simply click on Pages, go to the page you want to edit, click on Settings, and choose Without Banner. When we go onto the page, it looks like this. If you want to edit your banner, simply click on Edit, and you'll be confronted with this page. You have four options, either simply a picture, picture with a title, title and subheading, or a title and a button. And this button can link to another page, to a product, to a file. You have different options here. You can choose whether you want the background to be darkened or light. You can also turn on parallax scrolling. This is a feature specific to the full width banners. When you have the feature enabled, when you scroll, the banner slowly leaves the screen. And if you have the feature disabled, the banner scrolls regularly. You can choose whether to have an image or a video as a banner. You can also choose from our stock images or upload your own image or video. You can create a slideshow by adding another image. And then you will see that these little arrows appear on both sides. You can choose between two different transitions. If I click this arrow, you'll see the slide transition. And then there's also the fade transition. You can choose whether the slideshow auto plays or if you want the visitor to have to flick through the images. If you want to set this banner as your default banner, you can simply choose as default and it will appear on every single page. For example, if I go into the home page, you see this banner. Or you see this banner. Or you can edit your banner once again and click only on this page. And then we only have this image on this page. If we go onto the home page and click edit, let's say we only want this one image on this page, select on this page, save. And now you can see you have a different image for the shop page and the home page. I hope I was able to help you. See you next time.